if you look here, we're showing the, uh, the earthquakes that have been recorded this morning. So you're seeing the aftershocks, and you can see how they run north-south. And that means that also we have a, a, what's called a focal mechanism that shows us that the fault we expected is north-south. So uh, that's pretty clear. Now, here in Alaska, it is our most active part of the United States. The Pacific Ocean is actually moving under Alaska, and it produces the largest earthquakes in the United States. There was a magnitude 9.2 in 1964 along this subduction zone, so the Pacific Ocean going under Anchorage, and of course caused a lot of damage in the city of Anchorage. This earthquake is in that slab that's going underneath Alaska. So it is a little bit deep. That's why we're comparing it to the Nisqually earthquake. And deep just means that everybody's farther away, right? If it's at 40 kilometers depth, nobody's closer than 40 kilometers to the earthquake. And the shaking dies off with distance really quickly. Um, but it then also tends to be a somewhat larger area. So we're not at all ex uh, uh, surprised to see substantial uh, damage in Anchorage, a lot of things thrown off of shelves, for instance. Um, we've heard, I heard one report of a bridge down. I can't confirm it, but that's not surprising. The other thing that uh, this area has a lot of uh, loose sediments with a lot of water in it. It's at the ocean's edge. That leads to an increased risk of what's called liquefaction. Liquefaction happens when you shake some ground, the ground settles, but there's a lot of water inside. So as the ground settles, the water gets compressed the pressure in the water goes up in the time of the earthquake because it can't flow away that quickly. And you get a temporary quicksand. Quicksand does a really bad job of holding up buildings. <laughs> so when you have this phenomenon, you tend to see a lot of ground failure and disruption to buildings just because the ground moves out from underneath them. The expectation is that that could be a significant issue here. We do not yet have confirmation on the ground that it's happening. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.